Now it's your turn to come up with a formula for the area of this whole thing. Um, let, let, uh, the, the, the height of, so, so here you've got a, a rectangle here. Okay. The height is A and the length is B. So here this is like a, uh, a semicircle here with the center being here. And here you also have a semicircle, the center being here. And here you also have a semicircle. Uh, and here you also have a semicircle here. Okay, so um, so somehow work out the formula for the uh, for the area of this whole thing. So uh, press pause and have a go. Okay, um, the rectangle here is easy. It's A B. So we know that. Okay, um, this one here. Let's say you need to know the radius. Well, if if from here to here is B, then the radius must be uh, must be B over two. Remember, P, B over 2 exists in a bubble because we've got to work out that this first before we can square it later on. So let's see, the area of the circle is uh, pi, uh, sorry, A equals pi R squared. Um, at the moment, we are just trying to work this, 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 uh, this semicircle out. So here, um, pi R, well, R is B over B over two, isn't it? Um, and that that exi uh, that exists in a uh, a bubble here. Okay. So remember the radius is is this. So we've got to put this into the radius, uh, and then we we've got to the, the the brackets have to be there basically. So now um, find a blank space to, to do this bubble here because this bit's quite complicated. So it's really B over two times B over 2. So that becomes B squared over 4. Okay, so um, so the full circle is this uh, pi uh, B squared over 4. Okay, um, because we've just worked out, we, ju we just worked out what this is. Which is, so, so now it becomes that. And then it gets multiplied to the top. So it will be B squared pi over 4. Um, th this is a whole circle, okay? And then we, we because th this is only half of a circle, let's let's divide it by two. Uh, so so half of an a is um, is this? Take this thing down. Oh, so this is a whole circle, and then we divide it by two because because um, th this formula will tell us a whole circle, and um, because we only want half of the circle, so we have to divide it by two. So now you've got a, um, you, whenever you divide by a frac, well, you're dividing a fraction, so it gets multiplied to the bottom. So this will be b squared pi over 8. So the area of this is b squared pi over 8. Okay? And then you've got another one over here, uh, b squared pi over 8. So, um, so, so, so the area of the semicircle down here, is this okay? The area of this uh, semicircle here is this up here, okay? And uh, and now let's let's do this now. Um, the the area of this would be um, well let, let's say a equals pi r squared. Well r here in this case it will be a a over two because the the height here the height here is a. So the radius must be half of an a. So a over two is the radius here. So now we, we, this is the radius. Let's put it into here. Okay. So now it will be pi uh, a over two brackets squared, which is um, pi times a squared over four. Okay. And then here you're multiplying to the top. So it's a squared pi over 4 this is the whole cir the whole of the uh, the circle here like this now we've got it divided by 2 half of uh, an a equals well when you divide this fraction by 2 you're going to have a squared pi over 8 okay just like over here you're dividing by 2 uh, so so th this here is um, is a squared pi over 8 and this one here is a squared pi over 8.
Okay, so now we we just need to add up all the uh, all the components here. Uh, so so let's let's do this down here. Hang on. So so remember, it's something like this. Hang on. So it's something like this. Um, okay. So so the total area is. Um, I'll better do it down here. Uh, the total area is okay. This one here, which is um, uh, a squared pi over eight, and then you add this one here, so it's plus uh, a squared pi over eight, and then let's let's do this one here plus um, plus b squared pi over eight, and then this one here plus b squared pi over eight, okay, and then and then we've got this bit here, which is um, plus uh, sorry plus a b, okay. So look at this up here. Um, this this thing here is um, is is this bit here. This bit here. Okay, and uh, so so basically, th this is the uh, big semicircle, small semicircle, small semicircle. Okay, let's let's merge all these together. They've all got the same denominator, so um, so this will become uh, a squared pi plus a squared pi plus b squared pi plus b squared pi. All over eight, okay, uh, and then plus a b, okay. But we are just merging these four for the time being. Now here, look at this. This is an a liga. This is a liga. Uh, so so you can merge the two entities together. So this will become. Hang on. This will become two ligas, a squared pi, and here this is your le. Ellie graph, okay, it's, it's, it's something different, so, so you can't merge this with this one here, it's different, it's something else. So, but you can, however, merge these two. Ellie graph, Ellie graph here, so it will be, uh, plus 2b squared pi, okay? Um, so it's, it's getting simpler. Now, now turn this into a fraction, so, uh, hang on, a squared pi plus 2b squared pi, all over eight um, plus turn this into a fraction a over b uh, sorry a b over one uh, and then and then times top and bottom by by eight okay just just so that you can get the two denominators here to be the same because at the moment we've got one fraction here and we've got another fraction here in order for us to merge these fractions the two denominators have to be the same so here this will become this, hang on, uh, 2a squared pi, uh, pi plus 2b squared pi over 8, uh, here, 8ab over 8. Now the, do, the two denominators are the same. So you can, uh, you can just merge, merge, uh, merge all of them now. Uh, so, hang on, 8 here, uh, 2a squared pi plus 2b squared pi and then plus 8a and then have a quick glance to see if you can simplify them um, here a liga here an elegraph here hippo hi hippo something uh, something different basically the, the, these are these are all different so you can't merge them so this is your final answer so the the, the formula for this complicated shape here um, for the for the area of this whole thing here it's given by by this by by this here okay um yeah uh, the, the the way we did this earlier was we we worked out the area of this and we worked out the area of this well a better way is to imagine that you've got you've got one whole circle here so if you look at this here it's it's, it's this massive thing and then and then you look down here is another is another massive semicircle. So really, all you have to do here is work out the area of this whole big circle. B, the radius being uh, well, remember this is a, this is b. Well, the radius here is uh, b over two. Okay. So so here, r rather than working out half of the circle and then add another half. 
just work out the whole circle and, and just do it, just add them once. So for example, let, let me just do it. If you follow it, you follow it. If you don't, don't worry about it. Okay, so I'm going to merge these two together to, to form this whole big circle. The radius being, um, being b over 2. So basically, a equals, um, equals pi r squared. That equals pi, um, b over 2 squared. Okay, and remember that this thing here, we've, we've worked out it to be, uh, uh, b squared over 4. Uh, so, 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 a uh, hand, hand. Uh, and then, and then time, get the pi, times a pi to the top. So b squared pi over, over 4. Last, uh, earlier, we then divided by 2 because, uh, we wanted half of a circle. And then we, and then we would do the same thing down here. Well, in this case, just leave us this. And just remember that this is a whole circle, okay? Later, uh, uh, late, later on, we only need to add the whole circle rather than add this and then this. Now do the same thing down here uh, with these two, two circles. So now you've got a small one and a small one. So you've got, you've got a small circle. Well, it turns out that this, the, the area of this thing here, if you use the same technique, you should get to a squared uh, pi over 4. Okay, and then this area here is AB. So now, um, now, with the whole area, I know, it's this whole circle here, which is, uh, A squared, uh, this over 4, and then add it to this, uh, add it to this circle here, which is, uh, B squared pi over 4, and then add AB. Okay, uh, let's, let's merge these two together first. So that would be, um, that would be a squared, uh, pi, uh, plus b squared pi over 4. Okay. And then this one here, it would be, uh, 4ab over 4. I'm, I'm taking lo lots of steps here. Uh, I'm, ter I've turned this into a, a fraction and then I times top and bottom by, by 4. Okay. So now this thing would be, um, a squared pi plus uh, b squared this uh, plus 4ab over 4 okay so this is uh, is is the same thing as uh, up here okay but up here you, you notice that you've got two lots here um, you could look, look, look at this you, you could um, th these two are actually the same even though you've got a 2 here um, but then you've got a bigger number at the bottom what you could do is simplify this Divide top and bottom by two. Okay. Um, so so here, th this thing here, if you divide by two, it would be this four. And remember, you've got to divide all these by uh, by two as well, uh, because if, if re remember when we have um, uh, a a uh, a blue whale, elephant, uh, and a giraffe, um, if you split in half, you've got to split this this uh, uh, blue whale in half, this in half, this in half. If there's something else, you've got to split this in half. What I'm saying is that there, this is your elephant, uh, giraffe, and your hyena. So you've got to chop the, the elephant in half, the giraffe in half, the hyena in half. So basically, if you divide this by two, you would get this. If you div if you divide this by two, you would get this. Um, uh, b squared pi. And then if you divide this by two, you would get, uh, four, a, B. So this is in effect the same as what we got down here. Okay. Um, the second part of this, if you don't understand it, if you don't follow it, it doesn't matter. Um, the, if, if you, um, if you ever need to find out the area of something, just, just break them up into small components and then add them, add them all together. I was just taking a shortcut. I was just getting this whole thing and merge it with, with this one down here to get this whole big circle. And then do the same for the small circle to get this circle. And then basically I get this circle, add it to this one, and then add it to this one. In the first example, I got this, uh, this semi, add this semi, add this semi, add this semi, and then add this. It's a lot more work, uh, the, the first part. The second part's easier. Okay. As I said, it doesn't matter if you don't understand it.